I love shooting and I needed to do something where I could have people coming shooting but not stop the farm work. I knew there was people wanted to come and shoot air rifles but they couldn't just go to the local park anymore like they used to. So there was a demand for places um, like this so I, I dreamt it up and um, there's more and more people coming all the time, it's good. Main air rifle features we've got is an indoor air rifle range, an outdoor air rifle range. Uh, we've got an HFT course as well, which we've only just put in. Temporary pistol range. And then uh, out on the fields, you can go out hunting all, all the usual vermin species. So I can get you sorted from when you've just walked out of the first shop with your first rifle, I can get you all started right through to an experienced shooter like Roger Lake competing at the highest level. The nice thing about Pete's Air Gun Farm is you can turn up, you can shoot your air gun, zero it, you can go indoors, you can go outdoors. There's so many people down here from complete novices that have never seen an air gun before to experienced shooters that do loads and loads of HFT, lots of competitions. It's, it's just a place to be really for air gunning. The way it does work is very simple because people, once they've had their introduction, they'll know the rules and they can come along whenever they like. We are actually open 24 hours a day, seven days a week. There's a simple system in place which will all be explained to you on your first visit and uh, it runs itself more or less, so it's good. There's an extra charge on your first visit, so it's actually £24 at the moment for your first visit with your introduction and then every visit thereafter is £12 um, and that's to use all the facilities on the farm for your £12 and no time limits, you stay, stay as long as you like, no time limits. You can as well target shoot only in the evenings for £7 so if you just fancy doing a bit of plinking using any of the ranges in the evenings, £7. We can provide air, we can fill your dive cylinders up as long as they're 300 bar mined and all in test I can fill your dive cylinders and sell targets and pellets so anything you might run out of uh, I can provide for you but I'm in I'm, I'm by no means a shop, I'm not trying to, try, trying to sell any guns or anything like that. It is a fully working farmyard and we run all sorts of other machinery in the, in the yard as well, fork trucks and everything. And I do often say to people, quite often on any building site you'd be in yellow high visibility gear. A lot of people here are mooching around in camouflage, so yeah, do watch yourselves out there. But that's all run through in the safety briefing at the start, um, uh, what, what to do and what not to do. I will pretty much let someone do anything as long as it's quiet, as long as it's not upsetting my neighbours, um, you can do it. So at the moment, metal detecting, some great finds out on the farm for your metal detecting. People have been finding Roman, Saxon coins, someone last week found a musket ball making kit, a very intricate little kit with all the moulds for pouring the lead into, really, really good stuff out there. So metal detecting. Um, electronic model aircraft flying, um, uh, the electronic ones don't make the noise that all these little petrol engine ones do so you're welcome to come and fly those here. Um, we have still got facilities for doing archery if anyone wants to do archery and um, just something I've been doing a little bit more of lately is bird watching. Um, it seems strange with what we do with the hunting side of things as well but we've got some beautiful spots down by the lake there where I've put some perches up for kingfishers and we've got bird watching hides down there. So the bird watching side of things is good and that lends itself to photography if anyone wants to come and do any specific photography. We've made some purpose built areas down by the lake there for wild camping. It lends itself nicely to the father and son type thing if you want to show your son how to make a fire and all that sort of thing. And we've built some sort of bushcrafty style hides down there that you can get all tucked up out of the worst of the weather right by the lake. Bring all your own equipment or if you just want to rough it in one of our sort of bushcrafty shelters um, you can you can do that as well. And there's probably things people might be watching this thinking, well, maybe if he does that, he'd let me do this. Well, give us a call. As long as it's not upsetting people and making a noise, chances are you'll be able to do it.